With all the crazy stuff happening in the world right now, my new channel, What's Out There, is here to offer hopefully a breather from this all. We will delve into the mysteries of life, the universe, and everything in between with the help of short under a minute videos. So please give it a shot and check it out. I will make sure to put a link in the video description. And as always, you can also help yourself by buying a brand new Windows 10 or 11 Pro retail key for the still insane low price of $12.50 only. If you are interested, please follow the link in the video description. Hello everyone, quite big news from Bethesda as they did announce the following. In their latest patch notes, they did announce they're working on a lot of cool new stuff coming for Starfield. And the most important one for me is we finally get official DLSS support. So at this moment, there are already a couple of mods which will give you uh, DLSS and they work quite good already. But now finally, Bethesda did announce we're going to get official DLSS for NVIDIA users for Starfield. Uh, f absolutely great, if in my opinion, because I'm uh, yeah I'm an NVIDIA user. I'm running an RTX 3090, and now yeah the game runs pretty good for me with an RTX 3090 and all the patches. But at the beginning it was pretty horrible. But still on busy areas, you know, with the max quality and all that stuff, still sometimes have uh, issues with frame rates, especially in big cities and stuff. And um, yeah, uh, this game needs to run super, super smooth for uh, for everyone because the mods will be coming. And that's another thing they did announce. Mo official mod support starting from uh, 2024 at the start of that year. So the start of next year, we finally will see the Bethesda tools for modding like we had on Fallout 4 and Skyrim, of course. Not to forget, that's what made these games so freaking huge, especially. Skyrim, which is the biggest and most modded game in the world, the biggest game on Nexus mods. So yeah, they would be crazy not to implement modding tools. So they announced it, it will come at the start of next year. Nevertheless, I already see a huge amount of mods already for Starfield uh, without even the, yeah, the creation kit stuff. An example, I saw a, a Starfield UI like the Sky UI and Fallout 4 UI already, which is good because for some reason the interface, the UI for PC is still old school, like on Skyrim and Fallout 4. So yeah, modding is already uh, pretty active, what I've seen on Nexus mods. But for me, from this list, the biggest one is definitely DLSS support officially. And um, like I said, we get official modding support at the start of next year. So let's look at the other things they did announce, which we are going to get in the future. Brightness and contrast controls, sure, all nice. HDR calibration menu, um, yeah, these, these are kind of things I am a bit surprised they're not by default in the game. We do have an FOV slider coming. Um, to be honest, I'm not, I didn't use the console commands yet because I can remember in the older Bethesda games, Skyrim and Fallout 4, you were able to set FOV space and then a number, an example 90. So I haven't tested it out, but yeah, apparently it's not implemented by default already. Of course, NVIDIA DLSS supports finally. Um, yeah, again, it's a bit weird that we officially get it now while they did launch it with only, uh, according to them, AMD, the AMD version of DLSS, but not two weeks later, we they announced we officially get DLSS. Great. Um, 32 by 9 ultra wide support, apparently also not implemented. I'm not sure why also this is not being done by default. It seems like a lot of these quality of life features, you know, yeah, apparently just takes a lot of time and they just want to release the game. Okay, fine. If we get it by next year, it's also for me, okay, um, because this game is hopefully going to be as long as Fallout 4 and Skyrim is. And uh, before I'm going to continue on that eat button for food. Um, yeah, not really sure why that's a big thing, but it, apparently it is. Uh, the last thing, and they also did uh, put it in a statement, which I think is really missing from the game, is a local map, right? In cities, you know, if you want to find shops and other points of interest, we're missing a local map. And I don't know why, because in Skyrim and in Starfield, we do have a local map. You can like switch between the world map and the local map with the points of interest. And yeah, it's really missing out because especially um, in, in cities, you know, like this, like you're seeing here, 
this is this, uh, the what is it the begin city i can't remember the name but yeah i'm <laughs> i'm having a hard time navigating around here finding shops to sell my stuff you know and only like objective markers are shown which you can follow blindly but I'm sometimes I'm afraid I'm missing a lot of stuff, a lot of side quests because I just can't remember which shop I've been and which NPCs I've talked to. So yeah, a local map is something maybe top priority that should have been officially included um, at, at release. So these things for me are necessary and uh, necessary, the things I mean necessary are at least and uh, decent ultra wide support for the ultra wide people even while i'm just using a regular 16 uh, by 9 1440p monitor nvidia dlss of course that would have been great if we got that from the start already it would have solved probably a lot of performance issues for nvidia users as well and um yeah a local map that would be really great and with that also, at the start of next year, we definitely are going to see way more mods when the uh, creation kit will be released for Starfield as well. All right, so yeah, that's a little bit what I wanted to announce. So this is quite, quite big news personally for me that they did announce this. So while I'm talking um, a little bit from my own experience, I saw a lot of mixed opinions about Starfield. I personally really liked the game. Um, and mostly because the uh, I understood that the guys from it software have been working together with Bethesda on creating a uh, yeah like shooter action first person uh, movement feels good and I, I I think you can definitely notice it in first person shooter action an example running around the look and feel of Starfield it's Praise the Lord, you know, that the guys from id Software worked in it. Because if this game would feel clunky, if the shooter action would feel clunky, I'm not really sure if I would have played this very long. Because, yeah, you know, it's going to be a very, very large game. Even uh, while I'm still at the start, I am level 6. Because I did start a little bit later on this game than everyone else did. I was on holiday, so yeah, you know, I had to jump in right after all the big hype and media storm was already... Uh, sweeping the lands but I, I so far I really enjoy it um, the only thing I do not like is the yeah space travel uh, even if you can call it space travel it's just like fast travel through uh, planets and landing there it's not like star citizen where you can literally fly through space and fly through the atmosphere of a planet land there pretty much anywhere you want for me it all feels like very large levels if you know what I mean with that and where you can like, yeah, land. I mean, you some, somehow get a feeling maybe that you're landing there. But for me, it really feels a lot more restricted than Star Citizen is. Biggest difference is this game is out. Star Citizen is not out. So yeah, that's a, a big compliment to Bethesda. They're actually able to release a game. And if, I, if we have to believe them, this game is in development for more than 20 years. So, okay, sure, that's quite an achievement. Um, yeah, only criteria maybe also having in the cities feel not as vivid or for some reason I can't really explain it. Even while uh, Star Citizen has uh, probably less NPCs in cities, it feels more alive and more real, more, more convincing. That's the word I think I'm looking for. It feels more convincing than Starfield sometimes does. Nevertheless, um, I don't think it's an ugly game because I saw that as well a lot of times that the graphics are ugly. I think in especially uh, well lit areas and especially indoor areas, the game looks really, really great. And then in combination with the fast paced shooter action for me, absolutely fun to play. Um, only thing is yeah, the quests and all side quests feels a lot like doing Skyrim Fallout all over again. And yeah, that should be exciting, but I mm, sometimes have the feeling that we're, yeah, also a little bit stuck with the Creation Engine 2, also in gameplay, which is stuck a little bit like 10, 15 years ago. And I hope, uh, the, because I'm not super far in the game, I'm level six, that I will get some more variety missions, hopefully. But uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be okay. But this is exciting guys because this is starfield the next bethesda game and we all have seen um how great 
Skyrim and Fallout series have became when it came to modding. So mods will will fix for sure all the issues this game might have. But I really like it so far. I really like playing it so far. And um, yeah, let me let me know what you guys think about Starfield in the comments. Um, do you what do you do in the game? Do you do anything about shipbuilding? Because I haven't done anything regarding shipbuilding yet. It's just for me the shooter action which I like. Also the first Bethesda game I think I don't want to play stealth because it yeah it shows me how longer the game takes if you're stealth and how much more effort everything takes. I'm just going to run and gun into uh, the enemies and that works fine for me. So that's what I'm going to do. So again, let me know how do you play it? Which kind of character are you playing stealth, uh, melee, uh, weapons, ballistic weapons, energy weapons, if there are any game, I don't know. Do you focus more on space combat and those kind of things. So looking to hear from you, what do you think about the game? What do you think about some of the controversial reviews from IGN, an example? I thought they gave it a seven and that had quite some controversy about it. And yeah, hope to see you in one of the next videos. Take care and bye-bye.